Well, 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 well. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to our last class of the week. Tomorrow you have a, a day off. And even you're going to have like a long weekend. <laughs> you will have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we're going to see you again on Monday. Uh, the next week, remember that it's going to be the last week of the module, right? The the next week is the last one. After that, we finish the the whole module, and I hope that everybody has done everything that is required on the platform. But we're still having time, guys. As I told you yesterday, if you want to continue working on the other sections. In the platform, you can do it. That that is not a problem. That that is something that you can do. That's why we have to to take advantage with our free time. If you have a free time, you can you can do that at home or maybe in your workplace. Yeah, because I I don't know how your schedule are, but I don't know if they are like uh, to be busy or maybe if you have like a, um, a little space between the weekend and those spaces are the one that we have to take in order to work in in the platform okay now we're going to see what we have for today guys let me see oh, i don't know why i have this let's see oh uh, okay let's go to church screen uh here we are. Okay, guys. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let, let me move this a little. <laughs> okay, they compare with a part. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, did you remember what we were talking about yesterday, right? We were talking about the present continuous. And uh, remember we were talking about how uh, goes the subject plus the verb plus the follow the verb that is follow following the, the verb to be, but this one is going to be changing into ing form. In this case, we have like uh, four exercise in which we are going to work for today. Well, let's see. I'm going to read it first. And after you can infer or you can think about what might be the whole possible uh, choices or answer that we can have or select in order to complete the, the exercise that we have here. I'm just going to read only. First, my name's Carl. I'm wearing <clears throat> a green a green suit today. I high heels too. It's raining, but I a raincoat. It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko. Short. Oh, I forget the the, the laser. Okay. Uh, shorts and teachers. It's very sunny, but they sunglasses. Feel a suit today. He pants and jacket. He a brown shirt, but he a tie. <laughs> it's cold today, but Katie mm -hmm, a coat. A coat. She, mm -hmm. a switcher, a switcher, oh, a switcher, uh, gloves in a hat. She, mm -hmm. boots, she, mm -hmm. sneakers. Okay, we were like uh, observing what, <clears throat> what might be about the, the exercise that we have for today. And okay, guys, how can we continue right here? My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit. 
Today I ready. Okay, I am I am ready. Or I'm. You can use I am or am. I'm. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I'm. 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 Mm -hmm. I what? Wearing. Wearing. High. High heels. High heels. Too. Mm -hmm. It's raining, but. Um, but I'm not, not, not wearing. I'm not wearing. I'm not I'm wearing a raincoat. Rain I'm not wearing a raincoat. Okay, let's see. The number two. It's hot today. Tochi and Noriko. They are not wearing. They are, they are wearing. They're wearing shorts they, and t-shirts. Okay, wearing. if you hear, guys, some of you are saying they are wearing. Some others are saying they are wearing. The two, the two, four are correct. Just in in one we have like a contraction, and in another one is without uh, contracting the the four, right? That's the only difference that. That, that we have. Mm -hmm. They are wearing shorts and teachers. Mm -hmm. It's very sunny, but they, they are not wearing, are not wearing some they glasses. Are not wearing. They are not wearing some they are not wearing. Glasses. Sunglasses. Glasses. sunglasses. They are not wearing sunglasses. They are not wearing sunglasses. Yeah, the, for some people in uh, referring to this uh, exercise, uh, some people they don't like to use sunglasses even where it's uh, very sunny. But there are some other people that they like or they used to wear uh, sunglasses when it's very sunny. Okay, let's move with the third one. Let's move here. Feel. He is wearing. Feel is wearing a suit today. He's suit. wearing a suit today. Today. A suit today. Okay. Wearing a suit today. He is wearing. He's wearing, he's wearing, he's wearing, wearing pants. pants and jackets. She is a wearing. Pants. He's wearing pants mm -hmm. and, and jacket. And a jacket. And a jacket. Okay. And a jacket. He he's wearing his he's wearing he's wearing a brown shirt. He's wearing, or we might say he is wearing. He's wearing it's like a wearing wearing wearing. Mm -hmm. It's like a war, war. We wish you a merry Christmas. No, 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 it's not in that way. <laughs> wearing. He's wearing. Okay. He's wearing a brown shirt, but he. He's not wearing. He's wearing a tie. Oh, yeah. He's not wearing. He's not wearing a tie. Yeah, he's not wearing a tie because I don't see a tie uh, right here. I don't see it. At all. <laughs> Let's see about the number four. Let's gonna see what we have. It's cold today, but Katie. Here uh, here uh, he's he's wearing not. a coat. Mm, okay. That How do you uh, uh, abrigo? Or no abrigo. Okay, but Katie is not wearing, wearing a, a coat. Yeah, that happened in the majority of the time when the American people you know, go jogging or running in the morning. They don't. They don't like to use jacket. I think because they are going to get wet due to the. Uh, the sweating 
that they produce. I, but here in Sabah, you can, oh, okay. She having some issues. Well, let's continue right here. She is wearing. She wearing a sweet shirt. Sweet shirt. A sweet shirt. Blue and a hat. A hat. She is not, not wearing boots. She is in boots. She's not wearing boots. Boots. She, she is wearing sneakers. She's wearing a sneaker. She's wearing a sneaker. Yeah, she, I do. But guy, how you how do you probably or how are you gonna run using boots? That I don't consider that might be possible because that would be like a little more tire for for you that's why you use sneakers uh some proper running shoes i imagine uh, watching some people running with boots <laughs> running shoes that will be very interesting seeing a race of people using boots <laughs> because the running shoes or the sneakers that's why they were created right for being comfortable and being more useful for the people in in those cases. The boots in in the case of where we have like a cold weather, it just only for keep you warm. But they are not for for running. <laughs> you cannot be going around running with, with with boots. No, that might be even very stranger. Very stranger I, I I consider that. <laughs> okay, how we finally end with each exercise? Let's go to check now, but individually. I don't know who wants to help me with the number one. Who wants to help me? Or I choose the one who are going to. Okay, Ana Martinez, you're going to have the number one. Who wants yes. to? Okay, you're gonna be in the number one. Who wants to help right. me with it? Who's gonna help me with the number two? Who's gonna help me mm -hmm. with the number two? Cecilia Montero. Jocelyn Edith Benavides, you're going to help me with the number three. And who else? Who else? Who else? Who, who else wants to help me? Who else? What else? Let's see. Oh, you're on. Uh, uh, Hugo, how are you? Hugo Lonidas Portillo, how are you? Mm, I'm fine. Okay, Hugo. It's a pleasure to see you again, Hugo. Uh, well, Hugo, you're going to help me with the number four. Okay. <laughs> But first we first we're going to start with the number one, continue with the number two, move to the number three, and we end with the number four. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's start. Who have uh who has the number one? My name is Claire. Mm -hmm. I am wearing a green suit today. Suit. today. Mm -hmm. uh, I am wearing high heels too. Mm -hmm. It's raining, but I am not uh, wearing. A Wear, wearing, 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 wearing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see who is going. Who is going to help me with the number two? Mm -hmm. John. Uh, it's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirt. It's very sunny, but they aren't they are not wearing sunglasses. Mm -hmm. They are not wearing sunglasses. Okay. What about the number three? Okay. 
Phil is wearing a suit today. Suit he today. is wearing pants and a jacket. Mm -hmm. He is wearing a brown shirt, but he is not wearing a tie. Okay, thank you, Yoselin. And who's going to be the last one? Who's going to be the last one? Who, who, who was the one who was to help me? I think he 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 lost the. Yeah, where where was he? Where are you? I think he 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 lost the the connection. Okay, due to the pro. Let me see. Oh, uh, me... ah, okay. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, well, well, in this case, uh, Jose Mauricio Alvarado. Hello, Hi, Mauricio. Mauricio uh, Sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> uh, please help me with the exercise number four. Me acabo de conectar. No sé qué es lo en qué parte van ahorita. Ah, okay. Don't worry. I'm going to choose another one. But please try. Oh, Alexandra Melissa Garcia. Okay, help me, Alexandra. It's it's today, but but Katie. Mm -hmm. He is not the cook. Mm -hmm. He is she is away. Yes. Uh, is yes. He is a clothes and a half and a half tea. She and a half tea. He is not wearing boots. He is wearing a sneaker. A sneaker. Okay. Thank you, Alexandra. Hugo, what what happened with your camera? <laughs> este, disculpa, maestro, es que el internet aquí se me está pues yendo y me saca oh, el sistema muchas veces. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Always let guys always let me know when you have some issues with. The connection with your internet, with whatever uh, uh, kind of problem that you might have during the the class while we were connected, because uh, that that is something that always you have to let us know, because as as I already know, uh, the internet or the signal of the internet differs according where uh, you are, where you live. Uh, I understand that the, the, in not all the places the internet works uh, correctly, but don't worry about that. Okay, don't worry, but try to always be <laughs> attentive. Okay. Well, guys, we're going to move to our next slide and see what we have here for this one. Or I would like. Uh, I don't know if someone else wants to help me. I think, oh, there's missing some. Uh, Douglas, you were paying attention, Douglas. Yes, teacher. Okay, Douglas, help me, help me with the number one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, start? Yeah, you can start now. Okay. My name is Clary. I'm wearing a green suit today. I am wearing he high heels too. X riding boat. I not wearing a raincoat. A raincoat. Okay. Henry, hello Henry. Hello, teacher. Henry, help me with this, with the number two. Number two, okay, teacher. Uh, it's an it's a hot today. Touched and no, and no, no rico. rico. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I am wearing short and tight no. shirt. Henry, eh, eh, try to pay attention. It's hot today. We're sí. talking about two persons. Or... Toshi Ay. and Noriko. Uh -huh. That's why we use a plural. They. They. They, they were. are wearing. They are wearing shorts and t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very soon. It's very sunny. Sunny. But sunny. But they. But but they. Sunglasses. They are wearing. You can say uh, Henry. You can say they are. Or you can say they wearing some glasses. They wear some glasses. But they, they wearing some glasses. They wearing it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guy. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's see who else. Uh, Graciela Tovar, he hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, Graciela, uh, would you like to help me with the number three? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Phil is wearing a suit today. Uh -huh. He is wearing pants and a jacket. Uh -huh. He is a brown shirt. Uh -huh. no. He is wearing a brown shirt. Uh -huh. But he is not wearing a tie. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Carlos Eduardo. How are you? Carlos Eduardo Ramirez. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Carlos, you were paying attention about what we were doing with those exercises. En ese, en ese momento van, van, van por la número cuatro. Yeah, but uh, you were paying attention how we were completing the, the empty spaces. What we were using here in the empty space. Está mm -hmm. bien, teacher. Okay, 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 Carlos, help me. Let's start. It's in, it's in cool today. Uh, it's cold today. It's cold today. Uh -huh. But, but, uh -huh. Katy, Katy or Katie, uh huh. Um, uh -huh. no, she's, um, she's wearing. Pere, pere, pere. <laughs> it's a cool. It's cold. It's cold today. Today. Katy. But Katie. But Katie. Mm -hmm. It's a winter. No, 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 Carla. But Katie. Eh, it's hey, not. Katie. It's not wearing a coat. It's not wearing a coat. Okay, <laughs> let's continue, Carl. Mm -hmm. She. Mire, teacher, no. No sé por qué, pero. Pero si me sale la. Si, si me sale la continuación de la, de la conversación. Pay. Pero la tapa, la, las opciones, el chat, grabar, compartir pantalla, aplicaciones. Esa eh. parte me la tapa, por eso. Ah, ah, bye, ok, Carlos. Let's, eh, let's stop uh, right, right there. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ok, now we're going to move to our next session and see what we have. Okay, guys, what we have here, present continuous, yes, no, 
question. Uh, how can we understand about yes, no question? That means that the, the, that are just simple question and, and the, even the structure is more simple and the easy. Uh, I think it is like the, um, the most easiest uh, structure that we can use the present continuous using yes, no question because the key of the yes, no question is that and in any question that you make or you do or you ask to another person you always going to use at the beginning of the sentence right here you're going to use the form of the verb to be the most famous one are and is um it's like a very it's not common um in some time might be used like a, a, a like in a introspective way. It's like a, when you are talking or you are asking something to yourself. Am I doing something good? Am I doing something good? That's why I, I call it or I refer to that like an introspective. That is uh, something that you are asking to yourself. Uh, and the most useful or the, the most that we use here, in our daily speaking uh, uh, are going to be are and is. Why why they are calling just yes, no question? The same question said that you can answer with yes or not in simple ways. Let's see how, how this is, is can work. Here we have a question. We have at the beginning of the of the statement, we have four of the verb to be. Which form we have here? We have are. Are you wearing a suit? Pay attention. Here we have the question mark. Here we have the question mark. Yes, I am. That is the a positive way to answer those kind of questions. Well, that's why I said yes, no question. We already use yes also. <laughs> Let's move to the negative answer. No, I'm not. And that's everything. That's everything, everything, everything. What else can we take into account here? And how, how can we remind us that how properly can we use this structure? It is simple because as the word said in the yes no question, the answer are very sure. Or in this case, the answer are very reduced form. Because here we can add more thing to the to the to the answer. But in this case, using the yes no question, you can do it like a, in the simplest way, like the one that we have here. Let's see in the number two. Is she wearing boots? Yes. She is the positive, the positive form. What about the negative form? No, she's not. Or we can use, or we can move the structure. No, she isn't. If you see here, we can have a contraction between the subject and the bear. And here we can have a contraction between the bear and the negative. Stay the negative four that is not the two of them are correct. It is depend and which one we want to use. If you prefer to use this kind of structure, that is the one that you're going to use. But in the other case, you prefer to use this one, that's the one that you're going to use. But you're going to tell me, teacher, but how do I know that which one is the correct one? Because I might get confused because we have two and maybe the answer is going to be just one and blah, blah, blah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because here we have two different ways in, in which we can answer or the one we can use. Even that is better because if you don't remember one, maybe there is another one that you can remember better. 
Yeah, that's, that, that's, that is how English works. English has a lot of synonym meanings, but you have to, to keep in your mind the ones that are easy. And the hardest ones uh, are like a kind of, like the word said, are kind of hard to remember. That's why the, our vocabulary is like a, more emphasized, more focus on the on the easy vocabulary. I think the, there are some hard words in the English vocabulary that maybe the case might be like, like uh, the people don't use it uh, too much, but in the case of the simple one, they use it a lot. Okay, let's move here. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not. And if you see, no, they aren't. Aren't. Aren't, aren't isn't. Aren't isn't. I'm, I'm, I'm. You see, I not. Teacher, but why we we cannot make a contraction between am and not? There's no contraction between I'm and not. There's a contraction or, or a conjunction just only with the subject in the before in the chaos in the case of of am but with is and with are you can do it but you cannot do it with am am never is going to work like like the other one like are and like is no it's just only to be a conjunction way with their such and it's going to be accompanied by the negative for that is not in this case Okay, let me see. See, Marine, the Dustin way to turn mark. Alba Maricela, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, okay, Alba Maricela, do you want to help me with this first exercise, the one that we have here? Just start right here, and you are going to finish right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing a suit? A suit, uh -huh, a yes, suit. A suit. Yes, I am. I am. Uh -huh. No, I not. No, I know. Which one is the positive form and which one it is the negative form? Negative form. Continue. No, 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 no. Uh, listen carefully. From the two, from these two columns that we have here, this one and this one. Which one it is the positive form and which one it is the negative form? No, I not. No, I not. That is the negative form. Four. Four. Okay, thank you. That's why you have to keep on your mind always that you see this word N O T or not in better known words. That's me, or you're going to infer that that is the negative form of the answer, the negative for the structure, the statement that you are using or you are talking about. Okay, now we are going to see with the number uh, two. Hello, Ana Martinez, how are you? I am okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're great. You're great, Ana. Ana, help me with the second line right here. Is she wearing boots? Is she wearing? Wearing. Is wearing. she wearing boots? Mm -hmm. Continue. No, no, she is. No, no, continue with this. You missed this uh, one. Uh -huh. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. No, she is not. Mm -hmm. No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Let's go to see who else. Dulas, Enrique. Oh, Christopher, you go later. And Henry, you're next. Uh, okay, Dulas, tell me, help me with this one, the one, the one that we have here. Okay. okay. Are they wearing glasses? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. They're not. Mm -hmm. No, they aren't. 
Uh, okay, thank you, Douglas. Uh, okay. Now, uh, Christopher, and after Christopher goes Henry. The first? Oh, yeah, Henry, the, the, the first one. Okay. No. Uh, Christopher, you're going to help me with the number two. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Henry, go, uh, let's start right here. Uh, Henry, you can start. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, no. please take it, take it with cow. <laughs> don't worry, no, no, no. Yeah, okay, drink, drink water, drink, drink water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, are you wearing a suit? Suits. Yes, I. Mm -hmm. suit. Suit. Yes, no. I am. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Christopher? Is she wearing boots? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's go into C and select the... The last one, let's see. Ta -na -na -na. Who had participated in those days? The team marine agencies. Oh, and let me see. Oh, no, Angel, you participated yesterday. And this is also Alexandra, Hugo, mm -mm. Cecilia, where you participate. Who hadn't participated? Uh, oh, Joseph and Yesenia, yeah. Yesenia, yeah. Yesenia Sanchez. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yesenia. Hello, Yesenia. How are you, Yesenia? Claudia, you're yeah. going to, to be next. Thank you. Okay, uh, okay. Jocelyn, Yesenia, help me with the, with the third one, the one that we have here. Okay. Are they wearing glasses? Uh -huh. Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, uh -huh. they aren't. They are. Okay, thank you, Yesenia. Uh, okay, Claudia, let's uh, help me with this one, with the, with the first one. Are you wearing a suit? A suit. Yes. A suit. A suit. Huh? Yes, I am. I am? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Claudia, uh, here in these two, which one it is the positive statement and which one it is the negative statement? The number one or number two? Which one is negative? Which one is is positive? Negative uh, is uh, no. I am. I'm not uh, positive. Uh, is yes. I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And uh, guys, I don't know if you have any question or need out about this structure. How is this one really written or it is order? Uh, any question that you have, any doubt, uh, you can raise your hand. Uh, always you can answer whatever thing you want. And don't worry, even if you make mistake at the moment to ask, uh, that won't be a problem. But if you don't understand just uh, for simple or for small that looks like, don't worry, guys. Don't be ashamed of asking. Raise your hand and, and say, teacher, I didn't understand this. Teacher, how is this, 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 and this? But I don't know if everything is okay for all of you. We are okay in this case. There's no question, there's no doubt. There's nothing. Not a question. Ah, no question, no question. Okay, let me see. Okay, as yes, we're going to move. If we're going to move to the third one. Let me see what we have here. Oh no, we are good. We are good. Okay, paywork. Ask and answer this question about the pictures. Okay, but here we don't have the picture. It just we have the the like one, six. Oh, we have a, a well, we have a lot of questions right here. 
but here we don't have the picture, we don't have the image. Well, we can answer uh, like whatever we want. You can you can use your imagination in order to to tell me whatever answer that you might select according to the to the question. Here we have some example how, how we are going to work with this question. Is Claire wearing a green suit? Yes, she is. Is she wearing a raincoat? No, she's not, or she isn't. As simple like that. Okay, Claudia, is Claire wearing a green suit? You can use yes, your imagination. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. She is. Wearing a raincoat. <laughs> yes, so ex exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's why we're going to use our imagination in order to work in this, in this part or in this section. Don't worry, guys. Okay, let's going to see who else. Graciela, hello. Hello. Okay, Graciela, this is for you. Is she wearing a raincoat? Yes, she is wearing a raincoat. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Ana Martinez. The number yes. three is for the number three is for you. Is she wearing high heels? Yes, she is. Is wearing a high heels. Yes, she's wearing high heels. heels. High heels, okay. You remember which one wore the high heel, right? The tall one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me see who else do we have right here. Jocelyn Edith Benavide, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, uh, help me with the number four in this case. Are Toshi and Noriko wearing swimming suits? No, they are not wearing, wearing swimsuits. Swimsuits. Okay, thank you. Okay. Alba, Maricela. Okay. Okay, Alba. Are they wearing shorts? Yes, they are wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. Sure. Douglas Enrique Godinez. Okay. Okay. Are they wearing sunglasses? Yes, they are wearing sunglasses. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jocelyn Yesenia Sanchez. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jocelyn. The number seven is for you. Is Phil wearing gray pants? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. What else? Wearing gray pants. Gray pants. Okay, thank you. Henry. Hello. We are with you with the number eight. Is he wearing a brown shirt? Yes, he is. No. Yes, he is wearing a brown shirt. Okay, thank you. Cecilia Montero. Yes. Uh, let's go with you. Is he wearing a tie? No. no I I, I'm going, Cecilia, Cecilia, I'm going to ask you, you're, you're going to answer, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry, Cecilia, don't worry, take it easy, take it easy, okay, is he wearing a tie? No, he isn't wearing no. a tie. Mm -hmm. No, he's not, or he isn't wearing a tie. Let's see who else. Jose Mauricio Alvarado. Hey, hi, teacher. Oh, Mauricio, now you are aware about everything what we are talking about. 
you already know what we are talking, right? Right. The exercise that we are talking about. Okay, Mauricio, let's pay attention. Is Katie wearing boots? Um, yes, I am Katie wearing boots. Yeah. No, Mauricio. Uh, you, can, you can use your imagination in order to answer. You can tell me. Yeah, she's yes. wearing boots. Yes, she's wearing boots. Boots. Or you can say in another words. No, she's not wearing boots. That is the uh, negative statement. But in the case that you are using a positive, it is another way, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to repeat the question and you are going to answer. Is Katie wearing boots? He's no, he's wearing boots. He's wearing boots, okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Hugo, uh, I don't know if you can hear me well now. <clears throat> yes. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to ask you this. Is she wearing a coat? Yes. Yes, she is wearing a coat. Okay, she is wearing a coat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who who is missing? The, the one who hadn't participated. Yeah. Who you are? Oh, Hennessy. <laughs> Hennessy, you, you can hear me? Hennessy Palacios? I don't know what happened with, with Giovanni. They were having some issues, I think. Hennessy, you can hear me? Or you still haven't? Ah, okay. Okay, she's having a uh, Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Uh, okay, you're going to help me with the number 12. Okay, uh, let, let's do it. Is she wearing a hat and gloves? Yes, yes, she's wearing a hat and gloves. Mm -hmm. Yes, she wearing a hat and gloves okay guys if you see what we have here what do we have here let's pay attention adjective plus no what it is uh, or what do you wait guys oh, oh. okay okay Okay, guys, mm -mm. let me see. Okay, that's where we are. Guys, uh, even in Spanish, uh, your teacher, your your classmate, you also share about what uh, you learn, what is an adjective and what is a noun. An adjective, it is used for what? Or what would you use an adjective? Like shit. Like shit, sorry, no. No, no, Harry. In this case, I'm asking to you, what is an adjective? Qualities. Okay, Graciela said qualities. That is the idea that she has. Okay, what else? I need more ideas, guys. Don't worry about you are wrong with the idea that you are sharing with me. Don't worry. We are going to clarify all of them. What else? What else might be an adjective? Para describir cosas o algo. Okay. Jocelyn is sharing his her opinion with us in Spanish, but I can translate to you in, in English. Adjective, it is used to describe something or anything about what we are talking about or to what we are referring to. 
in this case. That is the proper or the right use of an adjective. That is an adjective. That is a, that is a, everything that has to do with an adjective. What, what is the action of the adjective? The adjective it is describing a noun. That's why we have here adjective plus plus we have this the the sign plus plus now adjective plus now or adjective plus the now here we have a little here we have a little example my suit is black i'm wearing a black suit guy in this in this statement that we have here the first one which one do you consider is the adjective and which one is the noun? Black is the adjective. Mm -hmm. And? Suit. Black. Suit. And the noun is suit. Okay. It is good. It is good. What about in the second one? I'm black. Wait, guys. Adjective black suit. Black. Mm -hmm. Adjective is black suit. Or, or, or what? Which one do you think might be? Uh huh. The black team. suit. Mm -hmm. Como en un, como es una descripción es que es negro o la. Black is. Is also the adjective and suit is or noun. Mm -hmm. Because wearing it is the wearing is what in this case we yeah, is is the bear that is telling us what is he he doing in this case he's that he's wearing is wearing in the adjective describe the color of the suit mm. Mm? and the suit is the is the noun because the adjective is describing. The suit. <laughs> yeah, it, it is not something complicated. It's like the, something like a, a little bit easy sometimes, right? You see in that way. Okay, which, uh, which another exercise we might choose or we might say according with adjective plus no? Mm -hmm. Do you see my apply this one? My dog is white. It is good or it, or it is bad, that example. White adjective. Dog. Dog is what, Henry? White is adjective. Huh? A dog sería... That will be the no. noun. The no. noun. Remember, Henry, it, we have uh, a proper noun, we have animal noun, we have things, nouns, we have nouns about everything. Even, uh, well, in this case, cell phone is a noun, or glasses might be a noun. Everything that, uh, almost everything around us, we, it has a noun. Okay, let me, uh, let me, let me see this. I have okay. a question, teacher. Oh, Jocelyn. Sí, yes. Ah, okay. Tell me, tell me. Uh, because the um the, the sentence mm -hmm. is different. Uh, sweet is black, and the second sentence black sweet. Okay, in this case, it does. Uh, have you heard about something word order? Yes. Word word order. Why? Okay. Well, uh, well, well, es que well, se refiere, vaya, ejemplo, se refiere a lo mismo, pero se escribe diferente. Mm -hmm. That means... Uh, ¿Por qué? <laughs> ¿Por qué? That, that, that's the famous the word order, because English has something particular. That English, uh, I think the English guys or the English men, they didn't like it like uh, having everything simple. They like to have like a more complex structure about in, in grammar, about how, the way they express, the way they speak, the way they talk. 
Uh, in this way, I consider that they include uh, this particular word that it is word order, but at the end, it, it is always the same meaning. Like, like, in, like in this case, like the two, like the two perverse, like the two perverse, like a cut off, uh, put on. I, I can tell you like one example. I, I could the tree down. We have could tree down, but I can change the word order. I could down the tree. At the end, it's always going to be the same meaning. The only thing that change is the word order, the position of the of the word. But in this case, uh, we can change the word order with the uh, the word order doesn't apply in the majority of the time doesn't apply here at the beginning. Always has applied here, like uh, in the middle or at the end of the of the sentence. Why? Because if we change here the word order at the beginning of the sentence, what might happen? That will be into a question. And that will be just only uh, one simple sentence, one simple statement. And we, if we keep it simple like here, subject, and uh, like if we keep it simple like here, we have the subject and the verb. But at the beginning, that's why we cannot uh, word uh, or use the those word order, just like uh, in the middle or maybe at the end. I don't know if like uh, if you have an idea about that, Jocelyn. Or okay, teacher. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't um, know. It, so, it, so. It, so so so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand you because English in there in some time that might cause like a like a little. Uh, difficulty in the case of understandable understandable like uh, in a deeper way but through the way you are like uh, practicing more learning a little bit more you are going to understand deeper oh that's what the teacher was explaining that's why this one goes with this one that's why this is in this way that's why this works in this way and blah 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 blah, blah. that that's uh, it, through the practice you're going to understand a little bit more uh, about all of that. And you can say, ah, that it is how everything works. Yeah, but don't don't worry about that. We, we're still having time. We're still having time in order to, to keep understanding more vocabulary about that. Okay. Okay. Let's Thank see, Emu, you. you're welcome. Let's see, Emu to our last, yes, last slide. Okay, he's wearing a teacher. Okay, here we have uh, a group of people. Yeah, everybody is wearing something different. In the case here, we have some some question and that that the book shows. And it said, "Is Bruce wearing a light brown jacket?" In this case, Bruce is this guy, the one that we have here. Yes, he is. Is he wearing a tie? In this case, no, he's not wearing a tie. Remember like the exercise that we were doing? I were I was asking you something and you were answering me, but you were responding to that question. But in this case, just only refer to to the people that we have right here. Okay, let's let's say that she's she's Anita. Is Anita wearing a purple scarf? Yes, yes she, she is. is. Yes, she is. Okay, what about, let's continue with Anita. Is she wearing purple purple pants? Yes, yes. she is wearing. Yes, she is yes wearing. she's wearing purple pants. She's wearing purple pants. Mm -hmm, purple pants. Uh, is Anita, what she has here? Oh, this is this is like a sweater or something like that. Okay. Is Anita wearing a purple sweater? Yes. She is yeah. wearing purple clothes. A purple sweater. Yeah, those, those might be the cases. Uh, well guys, um the time is off. We have out of time, and this is going to be everything for today. 
And well, I over. Okay, I hope to see you on Monday. And please, the one who hadn't worked on the platform, try to work during those days. That's the the only thing that I'm asking asking for. Okay, guys, take okay. care. Have an excellent and wonderful weekend. Enjoy it and recover the whole energy of the week. <laughs> I hope to see you on Monday. Okay, okay, teacher. Good night. Okay, okay, guys. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Goodbye, teacher. Bye-bye. See you.